What's up guys, it's Days Media coming at you with another tutorial. Uh, this is just a bit of an easy, simple one. It looks pretty cool, it's simple, it's fun. So let's get into it. We're just going to create a new canvas. 1280, 720, doesn't really matter. And first thing we want to do is just get our background color black, like such. Next we're going to grab our elliptical marquee tool. Hold down shift, let's get the aspect ratio and any circles fine. And alright, let's let's go with that. Next thing we want is to go to filter, uh, render and difference clouds. Uh, for this, this is that's a bit dull for what we want. We want a bit of noise in ours, so we're just gonna press control F until we find something that we like. Close, just not it. Ah. You know, something like that'll be fine. Alright, so once we've got that, we then want to go to filter, distort, spherize. Press OK. And as you can see, it's already, you know, looking a bit more like a planet, or whatever you want to call it. And now we just want to deselect by pressing Ctrl D. Next thing what we want is again filter, distort, polar coordinates. Now I don't think you would have used this too much before. You just want to change it from rectangular to polar to polar to rectangular and press OK. And it's alright that it looks like that, that's how we want it for now. So just go to image, image rotation and 90 degrees clockwise. And again we're going to go to filter, uh, in stylize and add some wind. Method we want wind and direction from the right, which is press OK. And filter, we can use that same filter again. Alright, now we can put it back to how it was before. So just go to image, image rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise now. And then we want to go to filter, distort, polar coordinates, and just change it back to rectangular to polar. And press OK. And there you have it, there's our basic exploding planet kind of shape. And next we want to add some color. You don't really have to do this, but I reckon it makes it stand out more. Mm, let's just add a gradient, I reckon. So just select your gradient tool and click on here and just pick your colors. So for this, I'm going to use a nice vivid red going to just say a bit of a light pink, something like that. Press OK. Oh, first, make sure you create a new layer and then just drag it down. And obviously, we have that. That's pretty hideous. So, we just want to change the blend mode. Let's try overlay. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So, there you have it, guys your exploding planet effects. Uh, make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial.